Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to Island Girls Gardening. Today we can just do a little quick video. <laughs> walking around in the garden, see what's going on. It's February the 16th. And it's been a little chilly out here where it's been cold. You can see what's going on, see what trees made it and then made it through the winter. The winter's thing is quite over as yet, but it's you know, it's starting to warm up a little bit. This is my this right here is my little uh, lime tree. My lime tree. It left, all the leaves fell off of it, but you know, it's it's it's, it's still alive. It's still kicking strong. I get a good picture of it, but it's still kicking strong. It's still here. It's still surviving. It's still green. I had to cover it up with some bags. But that's all I did was like put some bags over top of it. The black garbage bags over top of it. Cause it got down to like 18 degrees and it snowed four inches. Came back and snowed again, two inches. But this right here, I want to show you something. This is my first successful draft. This is my first successful draft right here. I drafted this right here onto this root star. I can get it in here straight. Yeah, right here. Right here, there you go. I drafted this one, and I drafted this one. Right here. My first two successful drafts. It's a, it's a lemon tree, and I drafted Two easy peel, two easy peel orange uh, branches onto it. I started a little lakes on there, so I guess that's why it's still wrapped up now. But it survived. It survived. It survived the winter. And right here we have our garlic, which is doing pretty good. It's still doing good. What I want to show you was my spinach. My spinach was uncovered the whole winter. It snowed four inches of snow on top of it. It snowed two inches of snow on top of it. It survived 18 degrees temperatures. And that is my spinach. Giant noble spinach. It's a it's a it survived 18 degree temperatures and four inches of snow directly on top of the plant. Spinach is really tough. It can survive the winter very well. Very well. Like I said, I got different types of garlic in here. I got regular garlic. I got the elephant garlic. My garlic. I got the regular garlic. I got the elephant garlic. And some of the garlic that I planted. And here's some more of the garlic. And elephant garlic. And my strawberries are starting to do starting to come back around. They survived too. They survived the uncovered by anything. But nothing covered them up. They survived the winter too. So I think we had a really good successful successful winter for what we grew and what can grow. Like I said, this here is my sweetheart cherry trees. They survived. I put this cover around it. I put this cover around it. It probably didn't need it because it's it survived. Uh, it sounds like in my eyes, but I put this this uh, pipe covering and put it around it. But it probably didn't need it. I did the same thing with my 
He's a peel orange tree. Whenever it got down past 30 degrees, I threw a cover over it. And but I ain't I didn't I ain't use no kind of heat for it though, but so it's it's still it's still there. It's still there. I got the pipe around it. It leaves a little at least a little, little, little dying in the back, but she's still green. I shaped a little bit of it, and she's still green underneath. The dip, so it's still green underneath. So I guess we, we, she good to go. She, I think she survived the winter. <laughs> the first year in the ground was my easy pill. First year in the ground. I think my lime and lemon was the first year in the ground. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I don't think my banana trees did that well. Well, I know they didn't. The ones right here, they ain't do too good. I tried to wrap them, but I don't, I don't think they, they well did too well. They probably, they can come up again. They can sprout up again from the ground up like they did last year, but I don't think they could ever fruit because I don't have enough time. But I have another one that I dug up had one that I dug up and I put it in a pot and I put it in the greenhouse over the winter. And it's 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 doing pretty good. It's still it's still here. The lady's still green. She's still here. We also have some new additions. We got some lemon cucumbers. We got some comfrey coming up. Comfrey really surprised me how fast it grows. Especially lemon can come with some more, some more uh, hump comfrey. Then this is our hot peppers. Carolina Reapers. Yeah. And the rest of my fruit tree. This tree right here is my, this is my, um, let me adjust this a little bit. This, this is my blood orange, and I got this late in in November. It's in November. Let me check the tag on it. I got this late in yeah. I got this late in October. It was nice green. It's tall too. It was like six foot tall. Then all the leaves fell off of it, and I thought she was about to die, but she tricked me, though. She coming back. She got little bugs coming out of her. If you can see that, she got... Oh, yeah. She got little bugs coming out right there. Little flower, I man. Little leaves coming out. The leaves are starting to come back on it. But she still see that leaves are coming back. She's still good. Then my sassumas, I'm going to put them outside. This year, I'm going to plant these sassumas in the ground. So this this is my, this be my second year. So they're going in the ground. So I just wanted to give a little quick look over here. And this coffee, this is a coffee tree right here. This right here was a coffee. This is a coffee tree. And when we got it, it was like <laughs> it was like forty dollars and looked so big on online. And we got it. It was only like six inches tall. It was like man, we got ripped off. This thing only six inches tall. They paid they paid forty dollars for this thing. So now she don't she don't she don't grow a lot. She don't grow a lot. Oh, and I got some uh. Some sugar cane too. I got sugar canes. They're growing all winter. It surprised me. This is my sugar cane. Can't really see it, but it's right there. My, my, my sugar cane. Right there. It came along pretty good. Pretty good. I got some out in the yard that I. I covered up with the um, with some mulch, so so it maybe it'll, it'll come back this spring. It died back, so maybe it'll come back this spring. We'll, we'll see. 
What happened was that. The last year was my first year growing sugar cane. And a lot of people said, it won't grow this far up north in Virginia. Hey, hey, it won't grow. But it grew. And then I cut some off of it and uh, planted it and it regrew. But one thing about sugar cane is you got to, once you cut it, you want to plant it. You got to plant it right away. Don't wait. Don't wait no more than two weeks before you replant the, the parts that has the little knob, knob, the little note on it. Don't wait no more than two weeks before you replant it. Dog, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's not gonna make it. If you plant it within two weeks, it will be up. It will come up in like two weeks. It will start to come up in two weeks. Yeah, and I also have this new addition. This new addition right here. 250 gallons water tank I'm about to install. As you can see in the back, that's, that's my other one. And it's coming down from the sprout from the house and they're going to the barrel. There's one coming from the other side into the barrel. So I'm gonna hold this one up to it. So I'm had this this spout gonna be going to this one and the spout on this this spout is gonna be going to the black one and the spout from the other side is gonna be going to this one. Cause it gets pretty dry in the summertime around here. So we want to use rainwater instead of using city water. Cause we're on city water. I wanted to get me a well dug, but I don't want to charge so much money. But um yeah, we, we had two had two we had five hundred gallons of uh we had five hundred gallons of rainwater together. And so I had the line, if you wanna see that I have the line running. I have the uh, going into it. That's the second one going into it, and then I have it coming out right here. It comes out and it goes in the ground. Yeah, oh man, where we got? Okay, right there. It goes into the ground. Then it runs over into the greenhouse over there. So it's a pipe run from here all the way up to the greenhouse to my big pump. Well, I pump it out. I pump out and do the. I pump out to do the garden. I pump and do the garden. I water the garden and all my trees and everything. And that little Tony right there. He's sitting there. Tony. Little Tony. Name Mac. My call him Tony. All right. Like and subscribe. It don't cost you anything to subscribe. Just a thumbs up. Leave a comment. We'll get back with you in the comment. And to um time to grow. We have the coffee ready if you, we have the coffee ready. So um you can get in touch with us and we figure out how you're gonna do it with the coffee. So it is ready now. So until next time, peace out.